today's Dateline, I promised you we would introduce you to the newest wedding venue and event venue in McChesney Park, and that's where we are today, the Twisted Tulip with Deb. Good morning, Deb. Good morning. So, you know, I'm in awe when I walk in here just Thank because, you. first, there's a wall of mirrors, <laughs> and then every room you enter, there's more mirrors, so we I like love it. like a lot of bling. <laughs> yeah, so tell me, tell me all about the Twisted Tulip. Um, the Twisted Tulip is the newest event uh, venue in the Stateline area. Um, it was something that uh, my sister and I had opened Party Animals uh, five years ago. We're going into our sixth year, and we do a lot of event planning. And one of the things that we were finding that was an issue was everything was booked up a year, year and a half in advance. Mm -hmm. um, so my husband and I have owned this piece of land for about 15 years, and we thought, you know what? This area needs something. Um, Forest Hills Lodge has been here forever. What Joe and I actually got married there 30 years ago, uh -huh. and we thought maybe something a little different. So um, we ended up building the Twisted Tulip. You literally created the venue because the venues were booked. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what we did. And there's so much going on everywhere. There's this awesome bridal suite that we're in. There's a great outdoor area. There's yes. a bar. And you're really excited to open this business, but of course, weird timing. Right. <laughs> no, um, it is weird timing, but we've actually been uh, very blessed. Uh, we're almost full for the fall of 2021 wow. with uh, brides rescheduling and then new uh, couples booking. So uh, we are not complaining whatsoever. Um, I think it's partially due because it is new mm -hmm. and partially due because uh, we kind of fall in the middle range budget area. So we're uh, very budget friendly for the area, which is what we tried to do, offer something very unique but also um, something that would uh, be kind of nice on the pocketbook mm -hmm. um, so yeah so that's what we uh, ended up doing the Twisted Tulip. Okay so we've turned things over to Kieran we are in the main room here at the Twisted Tulip and you are very important here because you're the event director the lead planner yes and you have all of these tools the best I do. time and this is just a very small portion of what I have in my inventory I just brought a couple things just a handful of things for you to be able to pick out your Love own it. table set so when a bride or someone who's throwing an event, when they meet with you, what goes on? So basically we talk about planning, the processes of planning. I give them the option to pick out rental decor. I have the ability to bring couches, chairs, tables, centerpieces, stuff like this, table settings, that sort of thing. So we picked placemats. We got, we got the most place beautiful mats. ones. I have a couple different plates here. Okay, that's what comes these next. These are my favorite, but yeah, a plate or a charger. So we have, I have these like leather braided ones. I also have gold. I'll go so with this I just one. brought a couple of them. I'll do the gold. Okay, so and you want to put it in the middle? It. Yep, you can do it in the middle. I also did an event last summer where we did everything off center. Ooh. So you can get super creative with it. I know that there's a lot of technicalities when it comes to table settings where things should go, but I think in this day and age, it's okay to kind of have fun with it. You so, should always have fun with it. You should always have fun with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the green plate. Okay, I'm gonna do the yellow flowers. I love the yellow flowers. Those are some of my favorites too. So with the table settings, Technically, we have forks on the left, okay. knife and spoon on the right. And if we're getting really serious with it, this little dessert spoon goes at the top. Okay. So. Dessert spoon on the top. Fork. And so all of this, all of these pieces, you have different versions. I have different versions of just about everything. I have napkins, napkin rings. I have all kinds of fun goodies. So we have the option to go traditional and line everything up at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Or we can kind of stagger things out. When I'm doing this for an actual event, I get real serious and I bring out a ruler. I bet that <laughs> I wouldn't need to be anywhere near you when you were setting this up for an actual event. <laughs> uh, no, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but, and then as far as glasses go, technically you should do water, red wine, white wine, or champagne. Well, you do so need all four at all You times. do need all of them at all times. But we'll do water. I don't know which what glass you have, the little green ones sure. over here. Or you have the black. We have some rose gold. Love it. And we have some green. So I brought a few of each. But they just go in order. Your dessert spoon goes up the top. Mm -hmm. I like how yours is on the charger. So that's what's fun about it, is that you can <laughs> do whatever you want to do. No, no, I really like it. <laughs> like, I like how you did that wrong. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I, love, I love how it's always different. Some people don't even use chargers. Some people don't use... 
I like it. Half My of only these flaw is I'm very messy, so the more things around me, the more yeah, likely I am to that's spill okay. on all of the pieces. But you can move it around to cover your stain. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. You just cover it all up. You just cover up all of your little imperfections. But it's super simple, and especially when you have like a smaller fork, you can stagger them out. You can line them up at the bottom. There's so many different options you can do. And you have all of this stuff so that anyone who is going to plan the event, plan a wedding, it hangs with you for a while, probably. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And make sure it's oh, exactly yeah. what they want. That's exactly what they want. So I like to sit down and talk with them, figure out what they want their place basically what their vision is. Mm -hmm. I want to know exactly what your vision is. I want to know what your style is, what your expectations are. And you guys are having an open house in November, correct? We are planning an open house in November so that we can open it up, have brides come in, vendors, all kinds of people. Basically, anyone that is interested in looking at the Twisted Tulip can come in and take a little tour. Where can we get more information? You can go to the thetwistedtulipevents.com. Uh, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook under the same tag. She actually has like 32 couches you can rent from her, which is so cool. Coming up next, we're heading to Sycamore, where Nick Cronauer from Cronauer Law is helping us all understand confusing legal terms. And later, we're giving away a GDS swag bag to our next fan of the week and giving all of you a chance to win some super fat cookies. We'll explain what that means, too. We'll be right back after a quick look at the weather.